Uh, okay. Uh, let's see. It's up there, the thing, yeah. Time to go. A moment, if you would. Are you two the famous traveler and Paimon by any chance? We sure are! And who are you? My name is Wikos, a member of the Academia Extravaganza Planning Committee. Have you two heard of this festival? Only just now. Yep, and that's exactly why we're here. Is that so? Looks like our advertising is working. Since you're both interested, would you mind if I gave you a brief explanation of the event? That would be helpful. <clears throat> I think my audience so, could work. The Academia Extravaganza is a grand event run by the Academia with a long and storied history. To be precise, it can be divided into the Wisdom Gala and the Inter Darshan Championship. The gala is held annually. During this time, all six Darshans will set up booths throughout the city and host guests to showcase the most fascinating aspects of their school and thus increase their influence. On the other hand, the championship is held once every four years. Each Darshan will send a representative to vie for the position of Grand Champion. This year, the gala is being held alongside the championship, so the mood in the city is, as they say, at an unprecedented fever pitch. Got it! Cool! Thanks a bunch for the detailed explanation! You're most welcome. Answering questions regarding the Academia Extravaganza is my job. And I actually do have something I would like to ask the two of you. Huh? Need our help with something? Well, let me begin by saying that this year's Academia Extravaganza is of utmost importance to us. Lesser Lord Kusanali and the Sages came up with a plan for the Academia to recruit talented people from the desert starting next year. Okay. As such, we've invited a great number of desert dwellers to take part in this festival, so they can hopefully experience the Academia's atmosphere ahead of time. I've heard that the two of you are famous across both the rainforest and desert. With your participation, especially in the Inter Darshan Championship, more people will definitely come to appreciate the festival. Uh, we're not Academia researchers, no. Didn't you just say that only Darshan representatives can take part? Darshan. Ugh, but then we would have to deal with exams and essays and stuff like that. No need to worry. The championship participants have already been selected. I mean to invite the two of you as guest commentators. Your job will be to observe and record every part of the competition. There's no pressure. Just follow each match and enjoy the festival. Aside from that, we'll also prepare some compensation for your efforts. We won't have you working for free. That kind of sounds like a sweet deal. What do you think? Uh, for the participants anyway, would there be other commenters? I want you to know both, but... Well, I'll probably know that eventually, so... Yes, two others, in fact. Okay. Their responsibilities will be somewhat different from yours. One of our organizers will explain the details to you later at the main venue. So, how about it? Would you like to take this commission? We'll give it a go. Wow! Having fun while getting paid? This sounds awesome! The main event venue is at the outskirts of the Citadel of Regzar, and the organizer you're looking for is Karina. Tell her the situation and she'll get you set up. The championship is going to begin soon. I wish you a good experience serving as commentators. If you have any doubts, come find me anytime. Karina. Alrighty, off have we go! Okay, something else. Is there anything else I can help you with? No, apparently not.
welcome one and all to the Academia Extravaganza! Now then, allow me to reveal the prizes for this iteration of the Interdarshan Championship. Fabulous monetary rewards, research funds, a limited edition Genius Invocation TCG card, mm. and the right to wear the Diadem of Knowledge! I believe that I need not elaborate as to how this is a symbol of great honor. She should be yeah, Karina, she be right? For the head. Looks like she's in the middle of something. Let's wait till she's less busy, then go introduce ourselves. The Diadem of Knowledge. What a perfect work of art. <sighs> Every time I see it, I feel like I'm losing myself in its beauty. The one who proves fit to wear it must be a rare genius indeed. I believe that most of you have already seen the Diadem of Knowledge, or have heard tales about it. It's Twenty years ago, a researcher expected. named Sachin bought it for a large sum of Mora before donating it to the Academia. The generous championship prizes are also sourced from his sponsorship. Before we begin, allow me to express our gratitude to this researcher, who cannot be with us right now. Things can only get worse. Things can only go from bad to worse. Uh, who are you? Human nature begets conflict, and conflict begets ruin. From the beginning, the seeds of wickedness have been. Hey! Stop spacing out! Paimon called out to you, but you didn't respond. You okay? Did you stay up late without telling Paimon? Oh, all right. I'm sure we're all more than ready for the championship to begin. Now then, let's invite our six Darshan representatives to the stage. Our contestants are... Hmm. Representing Amorta, Tainari! Uh, biology. Representing Spontamod, Sino! Uh, Representing Rotawahist, Layla. Elimination is. Representing Haravatat, Farazan. Oh, Simulix. Yeah, she probably told me this already. Representing Kasharawar, Kabe. Uh, technology. That's what it is. And for Vahumana. Huh? Is Vahumana's representative not here yet? Which was? These introductions are pointless. Let's just get this oh, over with. Uh, wait a sec. Why is he Vahumana's representative? Finally, our final contestant is Vahumana's representative. Hat guy! Ideology. But what's that? Oh, so that's Hat guy. I think I've seen him before. You know who he is? I've heard that he's a researcher from a different country who nominally belongs to Vahumana. Word is that he's written a lot of political analyses. His manner of speech hasn't made him popular amongst <laughs> most other Vahumana researchers, but his comings and goings are quite irregular, so he doesn't interact with others much. Aside from his more controversial aspects, his perspectives are considered quite incisive. Fahumana has seen a dearth of new talent lately, and some of its existing ones are not currently at the Academia, so I suspect he might have been their only option. It's just kind of weird. He doesn't seem like the kind of guy who'd participate in competitions like this one. And for puzzle too? Now that we have our six contestants, the championship will soon begin. Who will triumph this time around? Hold on to your hats, because we're all on this ride together! Huh. We really do know a lot of the contestants. All of them. Oh, right. We're guest commentators, aren't we? So figuring out everyone's reasons for participating is in our job description. Let's go ask them when we go say hi. Especially him. Paimon still thinks it's weird that he's here. Okay, so let's start with him. Or less. Oh, there he is.
We meet again, you two. Hey, Tainori! We came here to check out this extravaganza event, and then they invited us to be guest commentators. Is that so? I heard that there would be guest commentators recording the proceedings with cameras, but <laughs> I didn't expect they'd be you two. It's a pleasant surprise that you're visiting Sumeru again while I'm still on leave. When everything comes together perfectly like this, I call it the biryani factor. Because it's always rice to meet stew again. Uh. Uh. So, Tainari, you're representing Amurta, and Sino is representing Spontamod. But, haven't you both already graduated? Can alumni also take part in the competition? I had wondered the same thing. When I was told the news, I was actually more shocked than you are now. I later found out that anyone who has been a part of a particular darshan has the right to participate. Graduation status has no effect. So that's a rule, huh? There are some restrictions, though. For example, sages cannot participate. Any given person can only participate in one instance of the championship, and so on. That's right. Also, there are two methods by which the Darshan representatives are chosen. One is self-nomination, and the other is to be recommended by over half of one's Darshan. You must have been the case of the latter, Tainari! I heard that quite a few of your juniors petitioned for your candidacy. Sometimes I wish I could clap a few of them over the head and tell them to spend that time on studying instead. <laughs> In your shoes? Well, you can, but after some consideration, I realize this could be a good opportunity for me. Next month, we're having a public lecture on ecology at Gandharvaville. If I participate in this event, I might be able to utilize its popularity to promote the lecture. I'm not that concerned about becoming the champion, unlike someone here. So you volunteer yourself, Simon? Yes. I'm using the last of my leave for this. Hmm. When I heard that a limited edition Genius <laughs> Invocation TCG card yeah. was one of the prizes, I signed myself up. This year's card is a rare one indeed. It would be a shame if I missed out on it. Wait, is it some kind of super powerful card? No, it's a very common one. But it has a holographic mm. layer. Uh, so... what's the point? It's very cool. Uh, Paimon meant apart <laughs> from being very cool. That is reason enough. I shall do my all to emerge victorious and add it to my deck. As someone who doesn't play cards much, I can't quite relate. But it isn't surprising that everyone has their own reasons for taking part in the tournament. Fair enough. Alright, let's go find someone else to question. I'm surprised you were willing to come to Sumeru City at all. Well, the atmosphere at the Academia has improved immensely mm. since Azar and his ilk were deposed. Master has been busy recently, so he hasn't had the time to instruct me or try to convince me to return to the Academia. So I've been occasionally visiting the city these days. Trade and business are in greater abundance here, so it's much easier to acquire necessary research equipment. Mm. Today he said that was too noisy for his ears. You see? He had nothing to do with it. Oh, maybe Susan, Leila! Huh? Oh, it's you. Why are you here? We're here as specially invited guest commentators. Our job is to record what happens during the competition. Is that so? In that case, I'll have to trouble you to catch the moment of my triumph on camera. Remember to shoot from behind at a lower angle. You know, to capture a senior's class. Don't get ahead of yourself now. Victory will obviously be mine. <laughs> You're far too young to even consider challenging me. 
Kasharwar or Ratawahist. You're all children as far as I'm concerned. Uh, actually, I was going to ask, uh, how do you know me, Madame Farazan? Huh? You don't remember? I sometimes see you in the library at night. You even waved at me! Huh. Uh, uh, what? I don't remember doing that at all. Huh. How strange. However, this is not the time for curiosity. I am Farozan, a household name in Haravatat. You are Layla from Ratawahist, I presume? I yes Good, then we are officially introduced. See? Simple as that. <laughs> I like respectful ones, by the way. Would you like to join my research group? Madam Farozan, I'm quite sure this counts as poaching. Let's dial things down. I know, but it's been tough getting people these days. And research funding has been hard to secure. But once I win this tournament, it'll be a different story. So you're just here to increase the amount of funding you're getting? Well, not just that. What, are you curious about my reasons for participating in this event? Well, I suppose that's to be expected. You are our guest commentators, after all. There's been an influx of newly enrolled students, and they'll be paying close attention to this competition. If I do win, I'm certain that there will be no lack of students knocking upon my door. Moreover, research resources will be made available to the victor, so that will nix my funding issues. Therefore, my two juniors, I do apologize, but I fully intend to emerge triumphant. Uh, I'll do my best as well. At least I don't plan to lose too badly. So, why are you here, Layla? I don't know why, but a lot of people recommended me. I didn't sign up myself. I just woke up to find my name on the announcement board. That sounds like what happened to Tainari. Him too? Oh, I'm... I'm really nervous. I've been so worried about disappointing everyone that I've been... losing sleep. Stress not, young one. We must all experience failure to grow and mature. But Madame Farzan, I don't want to fail. Oh, seriously? Everyone has such nice reasons for joining. Okay, so you're the one that can lose. No problems. Must I say? Yes, you do! We gotta record it! Um, well, you know, right? I want to buy some property. <laughs> oh, that's right! You wanna move out of Alhatham's! Oh, uh, oh, what? Alhatham? What about him? This has nothing to do with him. I must misremember things. Oh! Sorry, Paimon has no idea what she was talking about. So, you want to use the grand prize to buy a place, right? Correct. Also, my father took part in the Interdarshan Championship when I was young, but he didn't win. Once I do, the right to wear that diadem will be mine. In a way, I'll be helping my father fulfill a dream of his. That's not a bad reason at all. You have ambition, youngster. Although your chances with me here aren't great, I believe your father would be most proud if the diadem of knowledge were bestowed upon you. Not that he'll have the chance to celebrate. My father passed away many years ago. They say he ran into quicksand while traveling in the desert. <sighs> for you to have experienced such a thing. That must have been tough for you. <sighs> It's all in the past now, and life goes on, doesn't it? Let's change topics. I don't want to bring the mood down. All right. Earlier, you said that you want to use the prize Mora to purchase a home. Where do you live now? Do you live alone? Uh, uh, 
Well... Hmm... I also heard you mention All Hate Them just a moment ago. Isn't he also from Haravitat? Are you two hiding something from me? Uh, no, of course not! Why would you think that? <laughs> Paimon's definitely not involved either! We're gonna go interview other contestants now. Bye! You know, I was just thinking, how did the two of you meet? I was wrestling with a particularly tricky problem, and she happened to pass by while I was puzzling over it at the house of Dana. She then proceeded to provide some comments. Provide some comments? I was bestowing instruction. <laughs> In truth, I have no intention of solving Kasharwar's problems for them. But I decided that this youngster seemed to have a decent attitude, and so we had a good chat. But ultimately, I am a Haravatat scholar, so please come to me with questions about linguistics next time. Okay. So far, the price uh, can be shared with so about three of them. What? What are you... Just call me Hat Guy. That's the name I use in Vahumana. That sounds like a nickname, not a real name. So I can't go by a simple, ordinary name? Fine. Suit yourself. All right then, Hat Guy. Why are you taking part in the Inter Darshan Championship? We're specially invited guest commentators, so play nice and answer our questions. You could be Matra for all I care. So what if I don't answer you? What then? Uh, you... <laughs> I'll tell you this much. I have an agreement with someone not to reveal my motives. You're not plotting something in secret, are you? He clearly just said that. Well, it's hard to say. Why don't you take a guess? Ugh. Paimon's had it with you! Fine, be that way. Then we won't ask you why you're participating. Instead, uh, why did you join Vahumana? You two sure like to poke your noses where they don't belong. If I don't say anything, are you going to annoy me to death? Can you will die? <sighs> I heard that the Vahumana researcher named Akaba was researching the Tatarasuna incident, so I wrote a few essays to refute his points. Later, when I was bored, I wrote some commentary on societal issues in Inazuma. I didn't expect Vahumana to consider me as one of them. <laughs> Someone even invited me to a lecture or whatever. From start to finish, it was just the wishful thinking of idiots. A misunderstanding. There's your answer. Simple. But when Lesser Lord Kusanali heard about this, she went out of her way to get me registered in Vahumana. She used the name Hat Guy. So, what's the he does still mean? Enough chit chat. You're better off wasting your time with the other contestants. Someone's about to get very unlucky. Wanna guess who? How is anyone supposed to relax with you around? <sighs> We've gotta stay alert and keep a close eye on him. Looks like Karina's got a moment now. Let's go chat with her. Enjoy the Inter Darshan Championship. This will be one to remember, I'm sure. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, you must be the guest commentators Vikas invited. I've heard about you. I saw you two having quite the lively conversation, so I thought it would be best to wait. Are you two free right now? We were actually looking for you, too! Excellent! Then please allow me to explain your job responsibilities in detail. First, please take these two things. The first item is a custom camera from the Academia. Please use it to record the competition as it unfolds. The second is an event-specific locator that will flag all participants' locations. It will also sound when one of them completes an objective. 
Mm. It will be useful for every event that's been going on, where people just show up at random places. Wow! What a convenient little thing! Aside from you two, there are two other commentators. However, they will remain by the commentators area and will not be following the contestants in real time. Speaking of which, you probably know them. I'll hate them and Nilu. Isn't that too oh, low of a test for the great sage? Well, don't let me keep you unless you have any questions for me. Uh, have you seen a white haired man around? Hmm? Why do you ask? I saw someone like that on the stage earlier. Really? I didn't see any such person. Could I ask when you saw him? Just before the academic representatives went on stage. Strange. I was on stage the entire time and I didn't see anyone come up. Paimon didn't see anyone either. <laughs> Perhaps you're mistaken. However, if you have any leads on that matter, you can talk to me at any time. Hey, Traveler. Oh, Paimon. Long hmm. time no see. Ah, so they're two friends of yours. In that case, I'll take my leave. May you all have a wonderful time during the extravaganza. The Academia sent us both invitations, so Dia suggested that we come together. The villagers were also encouraging me to travel outside the village. <sighs> I couldn't find it in myself to turn them down. We're here now, so no point dwelling on that. Even though this extravaganza isn't a holiday or anything, it's still a big deal here in Sumeru. Merchants from all over will set up shop. There'll be tons of stuff to eat, use, and wear, more than you can count. I'm already set on helping you buy two new outfits. I mean, who wears the same thing at work and home anyway? I'm looking forward to it. <sighs> Just being able to relax and wander the streets freely has already made my day. So, Traveler, Paimon, you two want to come with? Uh, we'd love to, but we've got work to do right now. Aw, that's a shame. Let's hang out together when you're free, then. Sure! In that case, Candace and I will head out first. Good clothing and fabrics are very much in demand. If you snooze, you lose. Oh, right. We should also get some accessories. No need to rush. I think we'll have a better time if we take things slow. See you two later. Feel free to come find us whenever you have the time. Paimon didn't think that Candace and Dia would come. Hanging out with them sounds like a great time. Still, looks like the competition's starting soon. Let's go over to where all Haytham is and see what's going on. Spawn. Okay. <clears throat> I will now announce the rules for the first round of the competition. Please listen carefully. During the opening ceremony, Academia staff released several cages of butterflies, and many of them are now fluttering within Sumeru City. Amongst these butterflies, three of them will be special swift flies. They have a different appearance and also fly a little faster. Your objective this round is to find a swift fly and bring it to me. Three points will be awarded to the first participant to return, two to the second, and one point to the third. That is all for the first round. Should you require clarification on anything, please ask any of the other staff. Oh, Hatham's all business all the time, huh? Hmm. That said, how did he get picked to be a commentator? Paimon's kinda curious. Finding three specific butterflies in a place as large as Sumeru City sounds rather improbable. Hmm. If these swift flies behave anything like regular butterflies... I'm off. It will take some time to search every corner of Sumeru City. Huh? You're going just like that? A champion walks the road to victory. 
<laughs> My dear Kasharawar Jr., I have a plan. How about some cooperation between you and me? Cooperation? Looks like everyone's got their own plans for this, Tuffy. We're supposed to go on stage next, right? Uh, let's wait and see everyone's reactions first. Huh? Wait a minute. Look, he seems to be observing the other contestants just like we are. <laughs> we were right not to let our guard down. Do you remember those things we made previously? Huh? You mean... It's time for them to shine. It looks like Farazan and Kave have some secret plan. Oh, hello there. Madam Faruzan and I are discussing how... Shh! Hush now! The walls have ears around here. We should keep it a secret for now. Though you'll find out what we have in store soon enough. Come now, let's go. Before the others act. All right, there's no time to lose. We're off to make our preparations. See you later. Hmm. This is basically what I'll need. Oh, Do you here. think you'll have any difficulties? I have most of the reagents with me, and I can buy the rest. Kale, you're here too! Um, Kainari, you have a master plan ready? My hypothesis is that the Swift Fly's morphological variations won't significantly affect their fundamental nature. So I'm planning on using this to lure them out. Of course, I could be wrong. Every mutation opens the door to new possibilities, especially when they are artificially introduced. Details will have to wait until after the post-experimental analysis. For now, Kale and I are going to buy some reagents for our experiment. All right, well, uh, see you later. Okay, see ya! Hmm. Hey, Layla! Hmm? You look a little worried. Yeah, I have no idea what I should do. What color are these swift flies? Do they have special markings? How do they differ from ordinary butterflies? Oh, I can't even figure out these basic questions and most of what I've learned in the past is completely useless here. Aren't people who research the star supposed to have some extraordinary abilities? Why not use astrology to solve it? Oh, you're another contestant. A hat guy, was it? Is it that you can't use astrology during the day? <laughs> Guess that skill's less useful than I thought. No, it's not like that. If it's daytime, all I need is an astrolabe. So, why don't you do that then? Uh, Mona Magistus the Astrologist said that those who constantly use astrology to obtain things that shouldn't be theirs will eventually lose the blessing from the stars. Ahem, uh -huh. it's just something I read in an academic publication. Uh, I really love to read Mona's essays. You're overthinking it. Power is just a tool. It just seems to me that you don't have the resolve to win this. Well, suit yourself. <sighs> Wallow in your immature ideals if you like. Hey! Seriously? Just walking off after saying a bunch of mean stuff like that? Uh, um, did I say something wrong just now? No, switch several convictions. It was just a different, different perspectives, that's all. Uh, thank you so much. I've made up my mind not to use astrology for this. I think I'll just try my luck in the city. Uh, to be honest, I've always been pretty good at observation, and if I'm fortunate, I might be able to find that special butterfly species. Lord Sino seems to have found a swiftfly. Come on, let's go check it out. 
Really? Where? The butterfly flew up high, and he's chasing it now. Oh, oh no time to lose. Let's go see. Ah, uh, as expected of Sino. Ah, uh, actually, shouldn't you two go have a look as well? The moment when he catches the butterfly will likely be one worth recording after all. Ooh, I'll head into the city shortly to start my own search. I'll see you later. Alright, in that case, let's go see Sino first, and then we can check on what everyone else is up to. I think she check everyone else before Sino then. I'm going to try my luck in the city too. This is my first time commentating for such a competition. I'm feeling kind of nervous. Nilu, how did you get picked to be a guest commentator? The staff said that spectators would be less inclined to come if the contestants and commentators were all from the academia. I don't quite understand it, but I'm happy that we're able to all meet again. I didn't expect that you would be invited as well. Neither did we. Uh, by the way, how did you get picked, Alhatham? There were several factors, but primarily the recommendation of the sages. I suppose they assumed that I'd have the free time for this job after resigning as acting Grand Sage. Oh, so easy in the that said, they'd probably claim that my calm demeanor would help maintain fairness in the competition. Sounds like you've got a lot on your plate. Not really. The job itself is quite simple and effortless. Time to go! The other contestants are all wearing tracking devices, so you can use your locator to find them more easily. So, where they are? Oh. Oh, okay, Frozen is alongside him. Okay. Well, let's check everybody. First. I think they're more, more likely to move after. Oh, and there they are. After Sano gets. Let his me butterfly. find a good place to. What a crowd. Seems the Academia Extravaganza is in full swing. What do you want to get? Hmm. Maybe we can buy some gifts to bring back. Now? Huh. I usually get gifts last. Let's go walk around somewhere else first. Okay. <laughs> I'm not risking. But Time to go. Here. Are you sure it's all right to release so many? Have some faith. It'll be fine. Well, Layla was there. I spoke to her, right? Mm. <sighs> Good. We've got all our ingredients. Next, could I trouble you to help me mix them together? <laughs> of course, Master. Mm, isn't he kind of cheating by having outside help? I mean, those two are working together, but in the end, they'll be against each other, each other, so... I don't know, but the others are getting external help. Oh. Good, so I don't have to come to climb. We found you, Sino! Oh, wait, is that a swift fly? Mm. Stay put, don't move! Uh, he caught it! Huh? Sino, what's wrong? This isn't what I'm looking for. It's a. <sighs> 
finally. I made it. I heard that you caught a swift fly, Sino. Mind letting me see what it looks like? Uh, hold on. Isn't this the mechanical bait that I released earlier? Why would you catch that instead of a swift fly? Wait a minute. If we consider this from a different angle, isn't it a good thing that the bait you made was convincing enough to fool even Sino? Bait. That's right. During a previous interior design project, I felt that the artificial flowers on a wall were a little bland, so I decided on placing a few moving mechanical butterflies to add some pizzazz. <laughs> In order to make them both small and nimble, I consulted with Madame Faruzan. Mm. Not long ago, the two of us took all those mechanical butterflies and released them into the city. Why would you do that? <laughs> Need you even ask? Young people these days really do need to get out more. Have you never played that game where you play strips of paper on a bamboo pole and wave it across a field of flowers to attract a whole kaleidoscope of butterflies? No, I haven't. Wait, so you're trying to... That's right. The butterflies within the city will mistake our mechanical bait for one of their own and follow them around. As long as we keep releasing and retrieving our bait, we can capture all the butterflies within the city. What comes afterward is just a matter of separating the swift flies from the others. Huh. Guess that's one way to do it. Do not underestimate the wisdom of your elders. I had already thought of this method the moment the round's rules were announced. Of course, we also owe much to this fine junior of mine here for making such lifelike butterflies. It seems that Kasharawar has not quite declined as far as I had thought in recent years. Their teaching skills at least seem to be intact. Well, I just stuck to what I do best. The idea was yours. Ah, no need to be so polite. Once we capture all these butterflies, we shall split the points for this round. Ah, Thank look, you. one of them is so returning much. now. Huh? Wait a moment. Are my eyes deceiving me? Why don't I see any butterflies behind it? That's because there are none. Seems like your plan has hit a snag. Looks like the match continues. I'll be looking elsewhere. Huh. Strange. Has something else diverted their attention? Come, let's search in the direction the bait returned from. We'll go have a look too. How could it not be real? Oh. Yeah. Oh, he's too put out, uh, but she moved. Let's see. I, I think he will still be doing the same. No, he moved? Okay, so... Oh, he moved! Oh, the two of them moved as well. Ah, oh, not doing side quest now. Time to go. Let's just check if they were buying something down here. Time to go. brings you to here you huh? you're here having coffee uh aren't you supposed to be a contestant is there really any need for me to take part while everyone's running around like it's some sort of carnival it is some don't sort of worry carnival. 
I'll get involved once things actually get serious. Tem que esperar em uma terra, ou só? Sim, é uma tinta. Where did you open? Time to go. Uh, yeah, let's follow them for a little while, see where they can stop. Then I'll see if I will talk to Dainari or Layla first. And where are they? Okay, over there, so let's talk to Layla first. Time to go! Oh, hang on, those two, maybe they're here. Sure, the cutscene star was I get close. Huh? Frauzon? Kave? Why did you two stop? Look forward, Palma. Uh, so it was the Morta boy. Tainari! Mm. Fascinating, isn't it? The butterflies have all congregated here due to a special incense that I used. I infused it with three different types of honey, and the butterflies, following the fragrance, have gathered around me. Oh, butterflies must have really sharp noses then. <sighs> Wait, do they even have noses? <sighs> I've never seen one. They do not, in fact, and their vision isn't stellar either. However, they can use their antennae to distinguish between scents, and their olfactory senses are generally quite advanced, allowing them to detect floral fragrances from great distances. Oh, so that's how it is. Huh. I had a pet butterfly once. I picked wildflowers and placed them in its box, but it wouldn't eat any. That's normal. Raising butterflies isn't difficult, but there are many things you should take note of. Appropriate temperature, sufficient air, and a spacious environment are examples of such considerations. You must also ensure that the food you've chosen suits their palate. Most importantly, you must curb your curiosity and avoid disturbing them while they rest. Otherwise, they may become stressed. Ah, uh, sorry. I liked to poke at its wings at the time. Uh, humans tend to rear many creatures due to their aesthetic value, but not all are suited to such a process. Caring for living beings is hard work. Impulse alone is insufficient. Some prerequisite knowledge is always required. You sure do know a lot! Uh, I have a question too. I bought a scarab not long ago and it hasn't seemed very active. Can you help me figure out why? I'd like to keep a dust bird as a pet. What are some key points I should consider? Um, is it possible to keep a Rishbalan tiger as a pet? All right, it seems like you all have a great deal of questions. <laughs> it is, we've met. Okay. But I am in the middle of the Interdarshan Championship at the moment, so I'm afraid I can't answer them all now. Let me propose an alternative. Next month, there will be a biology lecture at Gandharvaville, and I will be sharing some interesting insights on living organisms there. If you're interested, you can attend that lecture, and if you should have any questions, just prepare them ahead of time. I'll answer questions after I finish speaking. Uh, all right, I'll be there. Of course, please try to ask more rational questions. For example, whether you can raise a Rishbalan tiger as a pet or not is mainly dependent on whether you can overcome one in a fight. Looks like Tainari's science lecture will draw quite a crowd. Huh? Oh. <clears throat> Was I listening in for that long? 
It seems Kale's master does live up to his title as a teacher. Madam Farozan, I've had a look around. Nearly all the butterflies in this area have been attracted by the incense. However, we can cast our bait further away to avoid this area. All right, then let's get moving. We shan't let all the butterflies get away from us if we can help it. Seems like the competition's really heating up. Let's go see how the other contestants are doing. What are all those butterflies around there? Can they start catching them? Hmm. The scent is starting to fade. Seems the wind is stronger than I thought. The incense isn't going to last long. Okay, there isn't a specific one. Oh, but there's... I can talk to her. Am I supposed to talk to everybody now? Where exactly is he? Can I... Is he there or down here? Time to go! There's a little thing there, I'm not sure if it's a narrow or part of his... Okay, it's right up here. So he's up there. He's down there. Ah, we found some. This is taking longer than I thought. Aren't those helpful? They don't look like the ones I usually catch. So, aren't they special? Uh, next. Uh, those two. Okay, he's just doing what he was before. Uh, Let's wait here. Whew. Seems my age is catching up with me. If it happens, she dies. Please lead the swift flies back here. I'm really counting on you. Time to go. <laughs> Time to go. Well, the same. Searching for quite a while now, but I haven't seen any sign of the swift flies yet. Instead, I ended up catching a few mechanical devices that looked very similar to butterflies. Uh, I wonder where they came from. Uh, looks like Farozan and Kaveh's devices are everywhere now. I'll keep up the search. That said, I've noticed that a number of butterflies in the city has already decreased a lot compared to when the event started. Probably because the other contestants are coming up with their own ways to catch butterflies. Uh, Alright, I'll do my best too. Uh, huh? What's this? Could this be a swift fly? Oh, what a coincidence. I guess I just need to catch it now, right? Oh, um, please wait. Ah, oh, there it goes. It's so fast! Paimon thought all Haytham said they were only a little faster. No, come back. Come on, Traveler, let's go too. The locator's going off! Looks 
like someone's already cut themselves a swift fly. The locator's going off again. So someone else finished too? That would mean that the one Layla's chasing is the last swift fly. Hmm. Oh, there. They weren't there. No, no, oh, I climbed through you. It just occurred to me that we should also get you a makeup box. No, it's fine. I, I don't think I'll end up using it. Maybe you won't, but it doesn't hurt to have one, right? Come on, just trust me on this one. Huh? Uh, who are you, and what do you want? Uh, please, don't move. Don't move? Who sent you? Dear. Don't worry, I can handle this. Now, tell me, what do you want? Oh. I believe she's looking for this. Here, take it. A, a butterfly? Was it on my head? Oh, you're... It's been a while, Layla. Mm. No oh, is she from there? A friend of yours? Oh, so she must be the one you were telling me about. Huh? You two know each other? Oh, yeah. It has been some time. The first time I ever woke up after sleepwalking, I somehow mm. found myself in Aru Village. Uh, Candace was the one who took care of me then. That's right. She didn't look well, so I gave her something to eat. She said a lot of complicated things about astrology, the night sky, the stars. Not sure I understood it all, but it sounded pretty enchanting. Right. Do you still want this butterfly? It seems like you were chasing it all the way here. It's of little use to me, but if you don't want it, I can release it. Just let her have it. It's no big deal. A swift fly was flying so fast, but you were able to catch it like it was nothing, Candace. Oh, it didn't seem that quick, really. I was actually worried that I would injure it. But I'm glad that didn't happen. Anyway, sorry about the butterfly thing. With the way you suddenly came running over like that, I thought you were hired to take us out or something. Huh, on second thought, I guess I've never seen an assassin that looks tired with dark bags around their eyes. Oh, you must be taking part in the championship. <laughs> Take it from me. Don't let it stop you from getting some rest. Uh, I'll do what I can. Thank you. Hmm, we'll be on our way then. See you later. Oh, we're Layla, running over the let's camera. Let's take the swift fly back together with Layla. No, oh, he left. No, mm, okay. Everybody moved. Time to go. It seems we have a third contestant who has returned with a swift fly. With that, the first round has come to an end. I anticipate that all of you will keep up the effort for the second round. Dismissed. Ah, uh, um, your closing statement sounded so. How do I put it? Decisive? Well. You could certainly stand to try being more decisive, Nilu. It would help you live more freely. Hang on a second. Who were the first two contestants with swift flies? Tainari was first, and as for the second, it's being discussed right now. 
It's been discussed. Hey, Alhatham, I think I've come up with a good idea. Second place gets two points, right? Can't Madame Faruzan and I split the points between us? Quite the imagination you have there. I've read the championship handbook from cover to cover, and I never saw any rule which permits that. But then there's someone then that we didn't. can just add a rule. Do you really think I'd do that? Oh, come on, you're not going to stand in the way of my victory, are you? Well, you're free to send the organizing committee an application outlining your naive proposal. They'll get back to you within three working days. Three working days? It'll be too late by then! <laughs> Unfortunately for you, even dreaming is gonna cost you. Ah! Paimon gets it now. Kaveh and Faruzan found the second swift fly together, but the rules say that only one person can get the points. <sighs> oh well, the rules are the rules. Since you call me madam and politely ask for my help, I shall give you these points. So I'll put the points under Kaveh's name then? No. If I take these points, won't that only detract from your contributions, Madame Faruzan? You might be all right with that, but I cannot do it. Not in good conscience. I don't have any problem with it. There are two more rounds after all. Losing one isn't a major setback. But if you insist, I have another method. We can draw lots to see who will receive the points. L lots huh? What? Is there something wrong with that idea? Uh, no. Well, let's do it. All right. I'll get the paper needed for the lots. Uh, give me a moment. Everybody watch this kind of super glorious informal. Oh, so seriously? <laughs> I'm sorry, but it appears that luck was on my side this time. No, you do deserve it. I'm just lamenting my bad luck. Perhaps... Oh, perhaps that's why my life is rife with troubles. <laughs> Indeed. It's rare to see anyone with such terrible luck be so willing to decide victory via lots. And what would you know about that? I just... Uh, we can save bickering for later. Record the points under Farazan, and that'll finally bring the first round to a close. The second round will be held in the desert. We'll be moving our commentator stand over to Aru Village. Let's meet up in Aru Village once everything is ready. Mm. I'll announce the details of the second round then. Till then, you have some free time. I'm off the clock at this point, so it's farewell for now. <laughs> Wait, I'll hate them! You... <sighs> Don't be upset, Kave. Sighing can carry away your good luck, you know. Oh, so that's how it works. In that <laughs> case, I'll take in some deep breaths. Maybe that'll help me make up for all the luck I've lost. <sighs> it's really no big deal. Two points aren't enough to decide victory or defeat just yet. I'll win the next round. You'll see. Looks like you've managed to pick yourself back up, young man. Good. I must warn you, though, that I'm quite familiar with the desert. You'll have to try your best if you don't want to lose. I'm no stranger to the desert either. I'll be fine. All right, then. That's enough chit-chat for now. I'm going to check the area out. Hmm. So the current standings are Tainari in first place, Faruzan in second, and Layla in third. Oh, guess we should also take a nice break before the next round starts. But where should we go first? Why, you two look a little lost. If you're not sure where to start enjoying the Academia Extravaganza, then may I suggest that you have a chat with our boss? Your boss? Who's that? Do we know them? <laughs> well, only the most famous merchant in all of Sumeru, oh. Lord Sangama Bay. Oh, you mean Dory! Precisely. Our boss sent me to inform you two that she'll be waiting for you at Sumeru City's North Gate. I should be. So, what are the points? And then for the later. But then...
are they on village already? No, I haven't. Their trackers are deactivated, you know? Time to go. Okay, no bad on the way here. I'm not gonna go over the whole city. Oh, well, if it isn't the traveler in Paimon. Hey, Dory, are you here to attend the Academia Extravaganza Q? Of course. People are practically flocking to Sumeru City. You couldn't ask for a better opportunity to do business. This is one of the entrances into the city, and it's very close to the Wisdom Gala booths. There'll be an endless stream of customers. <laughs> I can already hear the Mora going clink, clink, clink as they fill my coin pouch. Well, is there anything you'd like to purchase? We've got everything you need and deals that can't be beat. Hmm. Well, do you have anything to eat? Oh, wait. We're celebrating the extravaganza, and you're only thinking of eating... <clears throat> I mean, of course, we've got lots of things to eat. That said, I recommend that you also consider some of the great bargains we have going on. Which the Wisdom are... Gala is about to begin, and once it starts, each of the Darshans will prepare a small challenge for everyone. Hmm. And just between us, I have some super booster supplements for sale. Eat just one to boost both your strength and dexterity for a short time, allowing you to overcome any challenge. Uh, no thanks, we'll pass. These little challenges are gonna be a cinch for the two of us. Just you watch. Anyway, Paimon just wants something to eat, please. If you don't have any food, then we'll just go somewhere else. All right, all right. Mora is Mora, after all. Oh, what would you like to eat? Hmm, well, Paimon's pretty hungry right now. Uh, do you have any taching? Let me see. This is a huge job, isn't it? If this works out, we'll be set. Here you go. Two servings of touching. See? I told you there's nothing Lord Sangama Bay can't procure. Yay! Uh, huh? What are you looking at, Traveler? I thought I saw someone just now. What, that was someone we knew? Oh? Who? Someone we know? Never mind. Was it someone suspicious? Have we attracted some unwanted attention? Huh? What's happening, Dory? Is there something else going on? I don't know who you saw just now, but I do have some hard-to-come-by information about the extravaganza. If you want to know more, we can talk business later. Okay. You have something more permanent to sell. Oh. 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 Hmm, each of the quests. Yeah, but I'm probably gonna do the oh if I can do more story today and those quests probably tomorrow. And so you buy information for me. Uh, I'm curious about your exclusive information, but we need to hear the press first. Please explain them. 
on sale for the fixed price of 1 million more. That's a lot, never mind, 1 million more can buy lots and lots of tasty food. Let us uh, come and see. Uh, Payments of customer number uh, 1001 for today. The original cost of the information was 1 million more, but for you, the price is now free. Uh, apparently, no such luck exists. Wait, you're not bidding us in Spain, are you? Maybe the first sentence is free, but not the next sentence. You don't want it? Fine, next. Wait, 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 forget what I was saying, we'll listen. There are exclusives to Copa no more. Number one, do you remember the diadem of knowledge? Oh, they're going to steal that. Papa remembers that only the champion was titled to wear the diadem, and it seemed very valuable. Exactly, the diadem at Sachin, that Sachin gave the academia is rather expensive and thick. Yet, this very diadem, after it was donated to the academia, was lost by them once before. Uh, why didn't we hear about this? Uh, if everyone knew about this, would, would my information still be considered exclusive? Of course, this information doesn't come from nowhere. I've got a witness too. There's a young fellow named Kashmir from the suburbs, if you're interested in the talking further, you could ask him. The password is that incident from 20 years ago. Ooh. Oh, there's a bush flip for this talk to. Oh, it's all that for the same quest. Wow. <laughs> okay. This will be a bit long. Well, since there are world quests, I don't think they will vanish before I complete that. Um, no, let's talk to them first. Uh, hello there, traveler. You assume that you are here to take part in the Wisdom Gala. If, if it would interest you, would you like to try out the game that we at Amortus have set up? And what sort of game would that be? Ah, oh, hang on. Are those those questions? Darshan has set up a game called Magic Education. Ah, oh, okay. No, I'll do that afterwards. I thought there were other quests. This game, in this game, I will introduce you to the behavioral patterns of certain animals. Of course, these patterns have been simplified and generalized to make them easier to understand. Uh, what you need to do is to use the models we have prepared to imitate the actions of the corresponding animals. That sounds pretty simple. It can't say that sounds difficult. And precisely, animals have regular behavior patterns. It's a statement that is both simple to understand and accept. But behind something so simple, why mysteries that are most deep indeed? However, let us put academic observation aside for a moment and simply enjoy the inhabitable behaviors of animals in a relaxed manner. Ah, oh, just that. My question was just talk to you to get an introduction for... Uh, hang on. Uh, gala boots. Uh, that. Ah, okay. That was the question. Then I have the challenges. Okay, let, let's just get the intro for each one. Oh, they are scattered around. Okay, so you? Why are you looking down? How did this fall to me? Couldn't we have assigned this test to a more experienced senior student? Mm, are you running some event here as well? Oh, Traveler, yes, yes, we are indeed running a, an event. Well, I say it's an event, but really it's a domain that awaits exploration. Does this domain have anything to do with the gala? Oh, let's not even get into that. I only came to be in charge of this affair because of the gala. 
Sorry, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Bahador from Spandamat. And our research lies in the field of alchemy, the elements and the topics like that. So I was assigned this task, but as much as I've thought about it, I couldn't think of a game that our Darshan could run. Putting up a crafting bench to do public alchemical experiments would be too boring. And there was no way we could run some demonstration of elemental reactions. If something went wrong, the whole site might go up in smoke. Then what would we do then? In the end, I had to ask the adventure skilled for help, and it was with their aid that I found this domain. Several of my fellow students and I uh, went inside to investigate, and to be honest, it is an utter mess in there. As such, we've developed a few potions specialized for use inside this domain. And well, that's our Darshan specialty demo dem demonstrated now, huh? So if you're interested, traveler, take these potions with you and go investigate the domain. I'll mark its location on your map. Has anyone come to uh, play this game? Has anyone other than me taking part? Now, quite a few adventurers did come to give this a go. They were quite excited too, but I must say that very few of our fellow students did. Whatever the case may be, you can go in as long as you're interested. The adventurers who tried this earlier rated this uh, it has been very challenging. And yes, for when you do go on, when you do go, I will have some potions here for you. Stay safe when exploring the domain, alright? Alright. I need to fill up one to fill the time limits during concocting reaction. Use resilience concussions to maximum two negative effects. Uh, this is one, maximum two different buffs. Okay. Time to go. Oh, I did see them here while Sino was there. But I didn't think much of it. Uh, I hope everyone will enjoy this little gadget. What's there to play over here? Uh, you're the traveler, aren't you? I'm Farball from Ritawa East. Uh, I don't suppose you know what it is we study here, do you? Well, I think it was astrology. We study the stars, so that's not a very precise way of putting it. We do have a lot of specializations within the Darshan itself. Unfortunately, a lot of things about our research wouldn't make much sense to the average person if we just explain it as is. In fact, the chances of them even being interested are slim. And I was concerned that setting up an astrology booth would just end in the involved would just end in the involved students getting into academic discussions and not many this talk. As such, after much discussion we decided on a middle of the road option. See this special astrolabe? It doesn't look like an astrolabe. Many stars have been placed on it. And what you need to do is arrange them into a specified image. These images will not be particularly complicated, and they will not involve any ongoing and as yet unresolved academic disputes. Uh, so, a simple fun and definitely not the div divisive pictorial puzzle. Oh, it struck me as being really nervous. Well, this game does have to be had to do with the stars after all. Some of our students get the sweats the moment they hear the, the word. You don't know how many people I had to tell that this is just a toy it has nothing to do with academic research. Never mind that. If you're interested, feel free to give it a go. Uh, rotate the art essential and we gather in the stars, event, and just astrolabe sections, heights, complete specified image. 
was the angle with the hydra to set a location that arts and astrolabes star will light up once all such stars light up the picture will be completed after a certain amount of time elapses following the challenge's beginning you can ask for help from the organizer to obtain a hint which will show the intended star position Uh, yeah, it's the question is it's on the news. I oh, didn't know that was that here. Okay, this is not important. <laughs> Good day to you, traveler. Given how you appear, you must be here to take part in the Wisdom Gala, yes? If you are interested, would you like to try out the event that we, the Haravatat, are organizing? If I recall, Haravatat studies languages. Oh wait, that's a loose so summary. That is what we research here at Haravatat. Uh, well, what do you think? Sounds like a good fit for the Gala's festive and relaxed atmosphere, does it not? Many of my fellow Darshan members do quite think so. Everyone's having fun to their heart's content. So surely we shall not spoil the moon by going around asking people riddles, yes? In any case, we shall be hard pressed to drum up much interest if we make people guess riddles for our activity. After much friendly discussion, we have decided on a little game known as Improved Steps. Uh, it does not require any tools or items, just a subtle mind and clear thoughts. When this game starts, I will tell you a story. Now, it may seem to you that the tale is going nowhere. Indeed, some parts of it might even defy common sense. And so you can question me, to which I will answer using three types of answers. Yes, no, or it doesn't matter. What you need to do is to use your questions to find out the truth to the story. Don't be nervous though, the correct answer isn't meant to be all that complicated. What do you say? If you're interested, we can start now. No, 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 no. This is the story, these questions, so there's inverse details regarding the story. If we say yes, no, it has nothing to do with the story. Still matters. Answers. Uh, the question I've asked is so critical when we switch, you may gain new hints that you want to ask. Once you have enough information, you will need to start pursuing the truth. Correctly answer all three other questions related to the truth to complete this particular story. Okay. We have two more. Oh. Uh, is the other one closed by any chance? No, they'll move there. Go. Hello there, I'm Daya from Sharawar. Are you here to take part of in the Wisdom Valley 2? This is the new game that our Darshan has put forth, Project Connectivity. Uh, would like to have a go at it. If I recall, Kishara's specialty is we study mechanics in architecture, yes. Uh, seems like I've gone off topic. So, to take part in this gala, many of our students put their heads together. And the result was project connectivity. Basically, players will need to use the various objects that we have prepared to, well, create a pathway. Laying down bridges, setting up stairs, and the eventual goal is to create a path for people to travel on the, that each that can reach its destination. Once you have finished constructing the road, we will conduct a final verification, just like we would test completed buildings. Essentially, you just need to set up a safe road to obtain success. That sounds very complicated, having much of a knack for architecture. <laughs> Some school, cooler than the others. Don't worry, don't worry. We're not being, you're not being asked to construct anything in real life. If something goes wrong and the world collapses, 
we just have to rebuild it. We're not putting limits on the number of tries you have either. Just let your imagination run free and build as beautiful as a road can be. Hmm. Oh. Spain construction points in construction mode during the project activity to construct the road and use it as the test mode to check if the road you have created will take you from the designated star through all checkpoints. Checkpoints can be accessed in any order. In test mode, you can start on pre build or place construction materials. If you fall, you'll be sent back to the star or to a checkpoint. In test mode, getting through all the checkpoints will constitute a successful challenge. Upon success, the less total construction points you spend, the higher the score will be. Each challenge will grant you different construction materials with different costs. Oh, it's the same thing with different costs. The, the continued use of each construction material will cause its cost to increase. Use different materials to simply, simply to create your, the best road. Okay. And you? Uh, why does everyone seem so exhausted? Are you running some sort of paint here? You're the traveler, aren't you? Huh, I've always wanted to meet you. That's right, Vahumana is running an archaeology themed game this time. We have many researchers who study history under our banner. And so archaeological work, especially the sort that is done in person, is often unavoidable. Wait, wait, don't be nervous. We're not getting everyone to do that in person. This event is just a replica of archaeological activities. We've placed a lot of replica relics and buried them all around Summer City. And we and we termed those places, or uh, at least for now, our archaeological zones. Those who take part in this activity will just need to bring our specially made detectors to use to those sites and dig up the bird replicas. It's all thanks to the students of the other Darshans for constructing a batch of containers and corresponding detectors. You just need to follow the detectors in order to find the replicas. We've even split the types of replicas into zones according to the elements. However, these detectors were originally used in elemental surveys, and despite our last minute modifications, they might still be affected by certain elements. All in all, you just need to dig up all the replicas and you'll find that we've got some awesome rewards for you. How do you think, Traveler? Would you be interested in giving this a go? Doesn't sound too hard. Great. In that case, here's a detector. I'll mark the archaeological zones in your archaeological manual. Alright, that should do it. Well done, Traveler. Go up there and have yourself some archaeological fun. <coughs> Once you've found all the relics, replica, found the relic replicas, do remember to come back and collect your reward from me. Okay, you were the last one. Oh, oh he said all over some arrow after I was Summer City. Follow the archaeological manual to the archaeological zones in the replica relics with, in which the replica relics are buried. Once you are in the archaeological zone, be, ah, okay, it seems like those coins. Equip and use the search compass. The compass will take, a, will take the closest replica relics location as its target. And use trail density to show how far you're, you presently are from the, that location. The closer you are to the burial location, the denser the trail will be. You can place search compass in different locations, which will allow you to use their indicated trail densities to search in the direction of higher trail density. After the trail density reaches 90%, you can immediately detect the replica relic. You can have a total of 3 search compass deployed at once. The archaeological zones can contain elemental objects that will disrupt the detection abilities of the search compasses. If you find such items, clear them out quickly and restart your search. After you deploy search compasses in an archaeological zone for a time, the compasses will be able to more accurately determine the position of the replica relics and will cause more accurate search ever to be displayed in your map. Alright. 
now just that one. <coughs> mm. I don't know. Let's do this one first. Who are you guys? Is there something you need? No, that incident from 20 years ago. I guess I shouldn't have told anyone. Last time I had too much to drink and I babble, I bab blabbered up a little too much. And now people are seeking me out. Since you're curious, I guess I'll tell you. I was just 6 years old 20 years ago. Okay. So I can't remember clearly what happened at the time. But recently I read a, the diary I kept when I was a child. And vaguely recalled the situation back then. The Interdarshan Championship was also held that year. There were three rounds, the last of which was outside the city. I begged my mom to take me out of town to see it. And when she refused, I snuck out. And then, I ended up getting lost outside the city. In the middle of nowhere, there was no one around. I grew more and more frightened and began to cry. That's when I saw some strange creatures. I can't remember what they looked like. I only remember how, as a child, I stopped crying at the sight of them. Okay, Arnaris. Strange creatures. There must be the Arnar. They took me to the competition. Unfortunately, by the time we got there, it was too late. It was already over. Just when I was disheartened, I suddenly saw one of those strange creatures slowly dragging a crown around, along. It was a beautiful crown, uh, shiny in the moonlight, and I could not help but follow it. I saw the little fellow hide the crown in a hollow tree before disappearing. I wanted to touch the crown, but at the moment I could hear the distant cries of my mother. It turns out she figured out I was lost and got her neighbors to go looking for me. I never got to touch it. It wasn't until I was older when I saw the Diadem of Knowledge at the Interdarshan Championship that I realized it was the same thing. Alright, do you remember where the Diadem ended up? It's probably in the Avidia Forest, but I've been back a few times and haven't found anything. No one will believe me, even if I told them. Unless even I can remember it clearly. Perhaps it was a dream I had when I was a child. Well, should we look for it? Aren't people from somewhere not supposed to have been dreaming till we arrived? So, how did you dream when you were a child? Oh no, hang on, children dream? I don't remember if children here use Akasha. I don't remember. Let's see what happens back then. Well, it is another quest now and stuff. Uh, let's follow this quest. If it takes a little long, then I'll continue the story and the challenge tomorrow. There's a home tree. It seems completely empty and there's nothing in it. Hey, wait, there's nothing there. The good Nara thought our Araka Pasiapa how to read. Araka Pasiapa must protect the Gunara. What's this supposed to mean? 
faint traces of writing can be seen on the red weather notes. Uh, okay. Oh, that's not information. Well, well, if it, if it isn't in the Paimon, yet again. I have the latest update on the Academia Extravagance. Would you like to hear it? How much is it? It's free, isn't a large sum of money generous? Do you guys remember Sachi? The guy who sponsored the Academia Extravagance? Paimon heard that the prize money and that the knowledge came from him. Bingo! In fact, not long ago, when I was doing business in the desert, I met an old businessman. And guess what I got from him? A dealer's ledger. With it, I can avoid dangerous areas in the desert and go to more places. Of course, the most important thing is that the ledger mentions Sachin. And it turned out that Sachin had been to the desert to investigate the people's local conditions and costs. Customs. He also had cordial exchanges with the traveling merchants in the desert. Much of the text is lost, but this is a first hand account of the big sponsor behind the academic extravagance. Would you like to think? Would you like to look? Okay, let's have a look then. Oh, papers. The sandstorms are raging, the caravan has stale stalled we run into a scholar calling himself Sachi. he said he could sponsor the caravan provided that we this is a trial of human nature betrayal plunder there was nothing we could do no one could withstand if i could do it all over again i would never have taken the money then they wouldn't have to die I wouldn't be living like this, a faith worse than death. People are the most terrifying animals in this world. Okay. Uh, this is all hard to understand. Dari, what does this all mean? What does this all mean? I'm afraid that if you need it analyze, it will cost you an extra million more. Forget it then. Well, since you're not paying, they'll be offered our special news. Well, let me give you a hint. There should be someone here who's been to a lot of academic surrogates. Perhaps you could talk to them. Who? That's someone in the venue. Oh, on the way there. Uh, hang on. Uh, the main quest is where? Okay, so I'll probably start the main quest. Talk to you. Let's go to the main quest. Um, is it me, or are the bags under your eyes even darker than during the last round? Are you alright? No, yes, it isn't anymore. Uh, thanks for the concern, Kave. I just. <sighs> haven't been sleeping well lately. Even though I try to fall asleep, I can't get the championship out of my head. And before I know it, it's morning again. <sighs> I know the feeling. That happens to me too when I'm agonizing over my blueprints. Do you have any tips for dealing with that? To be honest with you, no. 
You could say there are many things that don't have a quick fix and can only be endured. <laughs> I suppose you can think of it as something akin to an illness. Sometimes there's no effective cure, so you just have to let things run their course. I don't know what's stressing you out, but I can feel all the anxiety and pressure coming from you. The next round's about to start, so chin up and do your best. Oh, okay. You do your best, too. Looks like everyone's here. I will now explain the second round to you all. There are three ley line disruptors buried in the area around Aru village. These devices can imitate the effects of ley line disruption and will constantly interfere with the environment. Your goal is to shut them down. The first three who manage to finish this task will be awarded four, three, and two points accordingly. Note that each person may only bring a set amount of food and water with them and that leaving the designated competition zone will result in disqualification. Well, what do you think? Want to team up again? I shall consider letting you have the points on account of what happened in the previous round. That's all right. I've been here many times, and in any case, machines are one of my specialties. I doubt this will be particularly difficult. It's good to see such confidence in a youngster like yourself. I also happen to be well acquainted with this place. Let's see who will find these devices first. But aside from us, you should remember that there's a favorite for Champion. We must be careful of him. A favorite to win? Who is it? Shh, not so loud. I mean that boy, Tainari. He took first place in the previous round, and if he does so again this time, we may as well declare this competition over. I heard that you solved the Avidya Forest's leyline effluence problem with him not long ago. Since this round involves resolving a machine-simulated leyline disruption, it should be a simple matter for him. Hmm, that's true. It does look like his odds of winning are pretty high. He already has Kale, who is an excellent pupil. If he were to win this round as well, then wouldn't we just be letting him have all the fun? As his senior, it's my solemn duty to prevent such an inequitable arrangement from happening. I'm off. I'll get going as well. See you later. How are you feeling? I think I'm okay. But I'll take things slowly for now. Uh, is this all the water we're getting? Sorry, that's what the rules say. While this round seems to be about how quickly you can shut down the devices, it's also testing your ability to survive in tough conditions. Uh, I knew it'd be harder than I had expected. So we'll either need to find the devices as quickly as possible, or we'll have to save our energy and wait for an opportunity. Uh, Okay, I'll head out shortly. Thanks a lot, Nilu. You're welcome. Thanks. Uh, please she... take care of yourself. Really... Well, there goes everybody. So, who Almost should we visit probably. this time? Hmm, let Paimon think. Oh, right! Didn't Farozan say that Tainari's the favorite to win? Let's go look for him first. Yeah, if you have. Uh... You have a hydro vision, you will be on the vantage. You could create water. Right? Now that the round's begun, who do you think will win, I'll hate them? The ones who find the disruptors will win. Well, um, yes. <laughs> but aren't you just repeating the rules? Okay, where is everybody? Oh. Okay, let's talk to him last. Hmm, let me see. Where would they put one of these disruptors? Huh. 
A desert fox? Why would there be desert foxes here? Oh, whoa! Stop biting my clothes! Hey! I'll save you. No, I can't. You're on your own. The sun is especially intense today. I hope Tainari will be all right. Hmm. Aren't Probably not. Talking? I should Don't go you? check on him. Isn't his species supposed to be able to live well in the desert? Oh, I killed something. more annoying than the last round that's fine though i'll find some place <laughs> to sit and watch them scurry well you didn't have to come to the desert you could just yeah. stay there and you wait since you're not trying to win over there. Oh. You're right. Huh? Oh no. It looks like he's fainted. We have to help him. Tanari, are you okay? Uh, it's so hot. <laughs> oh, so you passed out because of the heat. Uh, are you not used to getting around in the desert? Uh, that's right. I usually bring lots of water when I go to the desert, precisely to avoid this situation. I went through all my water very quickly, and with the effects of the disturbed ley lines, I started feeling dizzy. My ancestors, the Voluka Shuna, were originally from the desert. But I guess this is what happens when a species migrates. They become intolerant of their original environment. Lesson. Let's get you some water. Humans, such fragile beings. Your bodies can't even survive extreme changes in the environment. He isn't completely human. Uh, what are you here? And you consider yourself strong? Here, take this. Let him drink it. Can he eat and drink and stuff? How does he get energy? Are you serious? <sighs> this had better be just normal water. Hey! You're leaving already? But isn't that a bit like Tainari's cheating? It seems it really is just water. Paimon <sighs> really doesn't get that guy. What's he up to? Ugh, anyway, let's focus on helping. 
helping Tainari drink some water first. Better starts recover after getting some water. I'm feeling a little better now. <laughs> ah, thanks, you two. Oh, it wasn't just the two of us. Just now. Oh, found you at last. Sino, you're here too. I was concerned, so I came back to check on you. Will you be able to go on? The fur on my tail is so dry, it's practically been singed right off. I don't see any purpose in pushing myself beyond what is reasonable. It appears I'm not suited to this particular round. I should probably just return to Aru Village and rest. Really? So you're backing out? Yes. I do have my results in the first round to serve as a buffer, so... Even if I forfeit this round, I still have a chance to turn things around later. Withdrawing now will allow me to conserve my energy. Continuing to push onward would be counterproductive. Very decisive, I agree. A wise decision. Let's get you back to Aru Village. <sighs> it's fine. I can make it back on my own. Oh, stop trying to be so polite. Come on, we'll help you back to Aru Village. Oh, we had four. You two must have a lot of free time if you came looking for me. Yeah, we kind of do. And you're not really helpful anyway. Uh, let's see, they'll probably be on the same page as before. the wind. How are you feeling now, Tainari? Do you want to rest some more? There's some shade here, so we can stop for a while. Uh, all right, let's do that. Traveler and Paimon with you. Oh, hey, Layla! Yeah, the sun was too strong, so I decided to take cover here for a while. What about you? Uh, are you all done already? Unfortunately not. I'm not quite as capable as I thought. I intend to withdraw from this round. Sino and the Traveler are escorting me back to Aru Village. L withdraw Can you even do that? I believe the rules do provide for such a situation. Alhatham did say that the act of leaving the competition grounds would result in disqualification from the round. Didn't I ask you if you were all right before this? If you had just decided to withdraw then, you wouldn't have had to suffer. Well, I had to try, didn't I? So I tried, and it didn't work out, and now I'm backing out while I can. When I get back, I'm definitely going to make a batch of sun-resistant oil. Next time I venture into the desert, I'll be prepared. By the way, you're Layla, aren't you? 
you don't look very well yourself. Will you be all right? Uh, I did feel a little faint when I first entered the desert, but I feel a lot better after resting here for a while. Be careful not to push yourself too hard. Uh, don't worry. I'm just... Feeling the pressure? Uh-huh. Uh, you can tell? Your expression is similar to the ones I see on criminals' faces when I interrogate them. To tell you the truth, I'm still not sure whether I have what it takes to represent the Ratawahis Darshan in the championship. Most people voted for me because of all the rumors surrounding me, and to be honest, those rumors don't really mean anything. Now I don't know how to deal with all the expectations they've put on me. Even the people who usually criticize me voted for me this time. Uh, so I feel like I have to live up to their expectations somehow. So their expectations are putting pressure on you? Uh, yes. Uh, actually, I heard that you were voted in as well, Tainari. Uh, how do you deal with it? To be completely honest, I don't really feel any pressure. Firstly, those who expect things from you do not necessarily do so for benign reasons. On the other hand, those who do consider your feelings certainly wouldn't want you to push yourself. Next, we are researchers. Our primary duty is to interact with knowledge, not to meet others' expectations. As for me, I took part in this competition to advertise for an academic lecture at Kendarvaville next month. I'll obviously try my best during the competition, but I won't let any additional pressure get to me. I think you can also try to find a clearly defined goal. That may help you. Huh. I understand. Uh, thanks for your advice. Uh, I'm absolutely parched after talking so much. I've still got some water with me. No, I'll be alright. We aren't far from Aru Village, so I can go the rest of the way myself. You should get back to the competition. Don't you want to win that limited edition card? Yes. Alright then. Your spirit will live on through me. Hey! Don't talk like that! I'm not dead, Sino. <sighs> Everyone, I'll be heading back now. See you after the round ends. I'll continue searching for the ley line disruptors. Are you feeling better now, Layla? Yeah, I feel like some of the weight has been taken off my shoulders after chatting with Tainari. It's been a long time since I first left my hometown to come to the academia, and every day here has been so precious. But, of course, there have been some rough times. All sorts of complex astrological models, countless quizzes, and essays that took all my brain power to barely finish. Each of those things are like huge boulders barreling at me, forcing me to continue running forward. When I was chosen as my Darshan's representative, it felt like another boulder was added to the ones already rolling behind me. Every time I close my eyes, I think of all the people I'd disappoint if I mess up. We will never be disappointed in you. We really prefer you to be happy, Layla. Yeah, I think that's what Tainari was trying to tell me. You're our good friends, which is why you didn't stop him from dropping out of this round, and why you don't feel disappointed in me. That's right! No need to feel so down! Uh, that said, he did also say that he hopes I could have more concrete goals for taking part in this competition. Uh, I don't have any now, but I'll give that some thought. Anyway, I won't take up any more of your time. You still have to record the other contestants' progress, don't you? Perhaps they've had some breakthroughs while we've been chatting. True. We should go look for the others. Hmm. Now, who's left? 
Tainari's dropped out for the round, and we just saw Sino. Uh, you could go see how Madame Farozan's doing. I've heard that she's quite knowledgeable about the desert, so she's probably made some progress by now. Okay, let's go look for Farozan! Wasn't Kavis supposed to be doing well since he's knowledgeable of mechanics? Don't worry, I'll be fine. Mm, he moved. Uh, Terminal vanished. Time to go. <laughs> Time to go. Time to go. Hmm. So, have you guys seen Tainara? I didn't expect Tainara to hmm. drop out. Being able to acknowledge one's own weaknesses is a rare quality. Up there. No, good. Looks like someone's taking it easy. You should be thrilled that I have nothing to do. Otherwise, that means someone's in for a very, very bad day. But if you don't get any points this round, you won't have a shot at winning. It's not like I care about winning or clout. Really? The real prize for me is watching all these people fight over something so useless. Oh, you reminded me of something. There shouldn't be any more incidents after this round. If you'll excuse me, I have somewhere to be. There weren't exactly incidents. Never give up. Hmm. <laughs> How did the rest go? Oh, right. <clears throat> I will never give up. My will is my greatest weapon. Time to go. There's another one. I can see. That's your whole observation. Okay. in time. I'm about to start digging right here. Oh, you found the Leyline Disruptor already? <laughs> Such a simple problem could never confound me. Not long after entering the desert, I discovered a primal construct that was acting abnormally, so I followed it all the way here. Once I got near here, it suddenly disappeared. Something unusual must be happening around this area. You're a true expert, Madame Farwazan. You know what to do right away. 
Well, I do happen to have more experience than most. But that aside, has anyone completed this challenge yet? Nope, not yet. Well then, I suppose I'll be the first. What about that boy Tainari? He withdrew from this round. Oh? And why's that? He's not used to being out and about in the desert. Huh. I didn't think he would have such a weakness. I suppose he could use a bit more training. What about the others? Is that Ratawahist girl still a bundle of nerves? Tainari gave Layla some advice, and she seems to be doing a lot better now. Sino just started his search for the disruptors, and... As for that guy, well, who knows what he's thinking? And what about Kaveh? Has he found a leyline disruptor yet? Paimon doesn't True. think so, or our locators would have already let us know. Strange. What's he lollygagging for? With his skills, you should have heard something from him by now. Well, I'm afraid the most thrilling moments are already done here. You should probably go find Kaveh and see how he's faring now. Here it comes. I think I'm about to strike gold. Okay, anybody else moved? Oh, she moved. Okay, those two are probably the same thing. Let's see. Me. Time to go. <laughs> Time to go. Yeah. 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 Can we not? Okay. Um, I think I'll start by doing a loop around the competition zone. Time to go. Come on, stop following me. I already gave you all the food I had on me. That's why. You can cry all you want. I don't have any more food. All I have left is a half bottle of water, and I can't possibly give you that. Without water, traveling in the desert will be incredibly difficult, and I still need to find what I'm looking for. Oh, Mirac, oh, can you help me out here? Keep them away. <laughs> Coffee, there you are! Farazan told us to come see how you're doing. What are you up to? <sighs> Just thinking about it makes me upset. Not long after I entered the desert, I was accosted by these fellows. I don't know why, but they didn't leave the competition grounds. And now the ley line disruptions have left them confused and circling around the area. The moment they saw me, they wouldn't leave me alone. They even cheated me out of my limited food supply. Hey, didn't I ask you to keep them away? Kabe, is this flying metal thingy yours? <sighs> That's right. This is my toolbox, Mirac. Your toolbox? Huh. It seems pretty fancy. Uh, hey there! Can you understand us? <laughs> Why is it here with you? Sometimes I need to carry things when I go out, so it's handy to have a portable toolbox. Well, this definitely doesn't look like an ordinary toolbox, that's for sure. It's a long story. When I was working in the desert, I ran into a merchant group who had a machine core they excavated from some tomb. It was clearly from King Deshret's civilization, 
His technology still isn't fully understood, and Kasharawar has many different opinions on this topic. Our current theories cannot explain such mysteries. Upon seeing such a rare, complete specimen before me, I forked over all the mora on my person to purchase it. Some time back, I wanted to make an automated case that could store my offloaded items. With that core, I created Mirac. It can't understand commands that are too complex, but it can serve as my assistant and help me with things like mapping and surveying. Most importantly, it can't talk, so it can't give me any attitude. Oh, yes. Uh, thanks for helping hide the fact that I live at Alhatham's place earlier. Well, I was the one who gave it away in the first place. I don't remember. Did he mention why he doesn't want anybody to know? <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> I hope this season of my life ends soon, so I can get things back on track. Things just started going downhill at some point. Maybe it all started when my mom remarried and left for Fontaine. Or maybe it all started when I spoke to Alhatham in the library. Or maybe it's because constructing the Palace of Alcazarzare burned through my funds. I'm still paying off the debt from that one. Oh, when's this going to end? <sighs> now that I think about it, I guess we're all unlucky here. It's not like any of you asked to be trapped in a ley line disruption. Okay, let me get you all out. Kave, aren't you going to look for the ley line disruptors? Yes, but I can't just leave them here, can I? Oh, forget it. The more I think about this, the more I feel a headache coming on. I'll get back to searching once I get them out of here. Time's a wasting. I'm off. If he get the disruptors, won't he? Kave looks like he's conflicted. He really wants to win, but he can't ignore those he wants to help. If he finds the thing, can he turn it off? He's a unique character. He can only do one or the other. Paimon's always felt like he's the type who easily gets himself into tough spots. Um, Paimon doesn't mean this in an insulting way, but... He seems like the kind of guy who'd be really easy to take advantage of. You're certainly pro with the truth. What was that noise? Whoa! Someone's done already! Oh. That was quick. It was. Right? Wonder who it is. Let's go back and ask Alhatham. Hmm. Is that supposed to be flying? <laughs> Shh, quiet! I'm currently trying to find a way out of here. <laughs> Shh, quiet! She's still digging. Was she, she was supposed to be almost done? Mm -hmm. Here it comes. Yeah, that's taking too long for you. Um, what ship there? Time to go. No. Hmm. There's a few things that seem a little off about this place. Let me collect my thoughts for a second. Okay, so Time let's go. back here. I follow the wind. Yeah. 
Verification complete! Congratulations on being this round's first winner, Sino. Ooh, so Sino is the quickest! I am from Spontamon, after all. We know a lot about ley lines, mm. so finding a disruptor was never going to be particularly difficult for me. Since the Traveler and Paimon also happen to be here, do you have anything you want to say? Anything I want to say? Hmm. My friend couldn't continue on, so failure was never an option. The bonds of yesterday will forge the road to tomorrow. With the ties of friendship that bind us, I won't lose to anyone. That's a line from King of Invocations, one of my favorite works, and it sums up my thoughts right now. It might be a good thing that Tainari isn't here, or else he'd give Sino a good smack right about now. That's a Sino. Oh, wow. It's already so late. Everyone's probably running low on food and water. It'll only get harder from here on out. Something similar happened in King of Invocations. <sighs> what a classic. Any thoughts on that, I'll hate them? <sighs> I have no thoughts regarding King of Invocations. <sighs> Milo obviously wasn't asking about that. Deserts are much more dangerous at night, so this competition should be nearing its end. At the moment, only Farazan, Layla, and Kave remain. I wonder who the next person to find a disruptor will be. Wait, only three people are left? Tainari forfeited, and Sino's already done. What about Hat Guy? He also forfeited not long ago. But, like Alhatham said, this round's almost over. Let's go see what the other contestants are doing. Things are really heating up now. Mm. You can feel the contestants' passion too, can't you, Alhatham? Compared to the abstraction of human emotions, the desert heat is easier to intuit. Tainari made the right decision to forfeit. Are you all right? Much better. Aru Village's hospitality sure is something. Two whole pitchers of water, to be precise. If your throat's too wet as a result, I can provide some dry humor. No, no, thanks. Uh, much appreciated, though. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh. They're still in the same place. Okay, let's just talk to her. have had to do a lot of running around this time. Don't you find it tiring? Yeah, a little. Well, in that case, let's take a short breather here. The desert's getting colder now that night's falling, and the wind can really sting your face because of all the sand in it. Uh, has anyone finished this round yet? Sino's already shut one down. Have you made any progress yet? I circled the whole area, but I didn't find anything. But I did have the chance to think some more about that thing that was weighing on my mind, and I realized something. And what was that? Well, my fellow Ritalahist members must have all put my name forward for different reasons, and maybe a lot of them only picked me because they wanted to watch me make a fool of myself. But be that as it may, 
I believe that a lot of them genuinely do expect great things from me. And I want to live up to their expectations. Uh, I don't want them to regret putting my name down. Huh? But doesn't thinking like that put a lot of pressure on you? Uh, of course, that comes with some amount of pressure for sure. But now I've thought about it, I don't feel like this is something I have to do. Instead, it's something I want to do. That may not sound like a huge difference to you, but it's helped me relax a lot. <sighs> so don't worry about me. Well, that's great! Also, now that I've relaxed, I'm suddenly really sleepy. Uh, I think I'll just take a quick nap. Just a quick one. <laughs> But the competition isn't over yet. Oh, oh, Layla, Layla. She's really a bundle of nerves, isn't she? Wait, you're... Good walking, Layla. Uh, good to see you, too. Whew, it's nice to be out. Feels like I've been cooped up inside for quite a while. Well, since I'm here, I guess I should help her finish this. What are we supposed to be doing here again? Finding a ley line disruptor, was it? Let me see... Hmm... Looks like she's basically gathered all the information she needs. Ah, oh, it won't take long to wrap this up. Come with me, you two. Do you ever get the feeling that the ley lines have a regular flow? Similar to the way that celestial bodies follow fixed orbits. If we were looking down from on high, I wonder whether we'd find that the ley lines are just the reflections of the stars upon the Earth. Not all astrological phenomena can be directly observed. Some are deductions based on other details that we know. It's the same situation with the ley lines. The parts of them that are hidden underground can be identified via elemental energy, sound, and other phenomena. Plus, now that someone has shut one of the disruptors down, the contrast between before and after can provide me with further information still. Uh, let me see. It should be here, I think. Am I supposed to? Ah, this should be it, right? Mm. I'll turn it off. That should restore the ley lines in the area to normal. Nice work! Again, I didn't do any of the real work. I'm just wrapping up. She'll probably wake up soon. No doubt she'll be a little disoriented at first, but once she's got her bearings, she'll go and report that she shut down this disruptor. <sighs> Will you be staying here for a while? Or are you going to check on the other contestants? Oh, time to check our locator. Whoa! It looks like Kave and Faro's on are headed towards the same place! Perhaps they're about to find the last disruptor. Also, speaking of Kave, he's an interesting one. How do you know if we're sleeping? Huh? Why do you say that? Before the second round, he had a chat with the other me. He said that worries can be like illnesses. They don't always have a magic cure. Sometimes you just have to endure them as best you can until they run their course. But the way I see it, his situation is much worse than my other selves. She just hadn't found what she wanted to do at the moment, which is why she felt lost. Kave, meanwhile, knows what he wants to do. He's convinced that he has to win, and yet he still seems conflicted. He doesn't have a second personality, but... Somehow, he still seems that he's at odds with himself in some way. Uh, I don't know exactly how to describe it. It's like he's smiling on the outside, but there's no joy inside, only sorrow. Still, who knows? He must be more experienced than me. Maybe he's just better at dealing with it all than I am. 
Hmm. Uh, oh, but back to the topic of wrapping up. Shouldn't you be getting back to the action to record how everything plays out? Last one, then the round's over. Oh, true. Okay, then, guess we'll be going now. We'll keep everything you said in mind. Kami and Baruzan were super confident at the start, but it turns out they're the last ones to find a disruptor. But between the two of them, who's going to get there first? Hmm. Let's head over quick. Oh, I think all is damaged. Is she back there? Time to go. No, you said something. around here finally found it coffee are you oh madam Faruzan and here I thought you would have finished this round by now Faruzan coffee oh looks like Layla's already done I didn't expect that you and I would find a disruptor at the same time. How are the other contestants doing? Tainari and Hat Guy forfeited, while Sino and Layla are already done. You two are the only ones left. Uh, huh? That's weird. Didn't you start digging really early on? Yes, I kept digging, but instead of finding a disruptor, I found a ruin. I fell down pretty deep, and it was completely dark in there. It took me quite some time to unlock the various mechanisms and return to the surface. That's... actually really impressive. Finishing a week's worth of trials in such a short time. <laughs> That's pretty amazing, Madam Faruzan. What about you? Why are you so late? I encountered a lot of lost desert foxes along the way, and I brought them to the outskirts of the competition zone. When I came back, I was absolutely parched. And then I blacked out. Probably from the heat, you know? When I woke up, it was already night. I used the last of my strength to come here. The most curious reason indeed. Ah, uh, but are you sure you're all right? It sounds like you were in an incredibly dangerous situation. You said you were familiar with the desert, but the way you handle problems... It does feel rather at odds with your title as a genius. <laughs> it was problematic, but that had nothing to do with me being a genius. It was my decision. The way I did things wasn't optimal, but I wouldn't have been comfortable not doing it either. My conscience would have weighed on me. <laughs> Youths these days. Each stranger than the next. But back to the main issue at hand. Since we are both very certain that this is where the final Leyline Disruptor is, let's dig it up then. Well, this is indeed it. Of that there is no doubt. But how shall we count the score this time? <sighs> what is it, youngster? You seem relieved. Oh, nothing. I was just thinking that this round's finally over. There shouldn't be any more innocent creatures getting wrapped up in danger. As for the points, I guess we can draw lots again later. I can't think of anything better. All right. In that case, let's all head back to Aru Village. Paimon thinks you'll both need some water and rest. Yeah. 
Looks like the second round is over. I wonder who is faster, Kabe or Madame Farazan? Huh? Where's Madame Farazan? She went to get water. She'll be back shortly. We basically arrived at the same time, so we'd like to draw lots again. <sighs> you get caught up in something so easily, like drawing lots. I'm not caught up in anything! Don't make it sound like I take pleasure in having bad luck! Really? Then should I say that you have a curious affinity for drawing lots? Um, I'll go get the box and slips of paper for the lots. Please wait a moment. Oh, here we go again. Let's see how I fare. That's a brief, but thanks a lot for I got Cut. it! Got Did that. you see that? I won! Congratulations! Looks like Kaveh's luck's taking a turn for the better! Oh, finally! After all this time! <gasps> it looks like you've been rewarded for your tribulations in the desert. This round's points are yours. Hmm. And with that, our second round is done. Sino, Layla, and Kave are our victorious contestants. As for the current standings, let me see. Sino and Layla both have four points, putting them both in first place. The rest in descending order are Tainari, Farazan, Kave, and Hakai. The next round will be the final one. Please rest up before then, everyone. I heard that some stalls at the Wisdom Gala are debuting new games, so feel free to drop by if you're interested. Otherwise, see you next round! Well, there'll be different games still. Okay, we'll play an Academia Boot. So, there's some line, there's some matters have been resolved. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I am marked. Wherever in this world I roam. Okay, back there, the angels. But I, I think I can stop here. And tomorrow I'll continue. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Time to go for this dialogue, and then we'll we we'll stop. It feels like something's been on your mind this entire time. And there were her men I saw before the conversation started. The secret conversation we overheard after the first round ended. Traveler, Paimon. I finally found you. Okay. Finally? Did something happen? Don't you feel like there's something off about this year's academia extravaganza? With never been one Candace before. and I were at the cafe earlier. We might have caught sight of some mercs on business. Thing is, they were disguised as tourists here to shop. But no disguise can mask the stench of blood. Just from their suspicious looks, I bet they do dirty work like kidnapping or assassinations. We eavesdropped on them for a while. Their target seems to be someone called Sachin. Sachin? Isn't that the person who Karina mentioned during the opening ceremony? He's apparently the sponsor behind the competition prizes and the Diadem of Knowledge, but he hasn't shown himself at all. 
Sounds like a rich person, all right. It makes sense now. The Aramites have been struggling to make ends meet recently, so a lot of groups have been doing private work that involves the rich. In their words, one gig sets you up for half a year. Just one job like this nets them enough mora to take it easy for a while. The extravaganza has brought many tourists to Sumeru City all at once, so it's likely that they took advantage of the bustle to sneak in. Dia and I wanted to directly capture them, but they were on guard and made some excuse to slip away. I would have tied them up if it wouldn't have caused a scene. Who's legally supposed to take care of this kind of thing? The Matra or the Corps of Thirty? Hmm. If Sino were here, he'd definitely get involved. <gasps> Why don't we head over to the Academia and tell a Matra? Thanks a million, you two. Not at all. It was coincidence on our part as well. Yeah, don't sweat it. The Aramite's reputation is gonna get even worse if these scumbags succeed. Hmm, but this is Sumeru City. Candace and I don't have as much freedom to act here, so we're leaving this in your hands. Should you require our aid, come find us at the cafe. But if we're going to tell the cops, couldn't you have skipped the process and go tell the cops yourselves before we Hyman's noticed arrive? that something's bucking you. Is it the extravaganza? Cause Paimon's starting to think that there's more than meets the eye here too. Ugh, but thinking like this isn't doing anything. Hmm. Let's just go find Amatra. Okay. I'll go find them tomorrow. Uh, up there? Okay. Just avoid there to tomorrow stream. I uh, just... One more thing before going out. Do we get... Okay. Delicious. Oh, good. Uh, the scenery is hmm uh, uh, where's my key uh, oh, not again <laughs> uh, no 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 well I still had a check what Fits him. Mm -hmm. mm. No, he's staying room. But I'll check afterwards what he actually needs. But good. Wonderful. Cool. Surely enough to convince uh, anyone to become a wanderer. <laughs>